Every week, Eric Von Aken is showing us how to do it yourself. Tackle your projects quickly and easily and keep more money in your pocket at the same time. Today, we're getting results at a home in Volusia County for a familiar face here at News 6. Hey, I'm News 6 anchor Eric Von Anken, the handy newsman. Here is Jeff, the crafty cameraman. And today we're getting results at home in DeBerry, making a new dryer fit. And we still don't need a Sawzall, Jeff. You know who we're doing this for? Hey! Look who it is. It's so, our new 6 sports director, Jamie Sims. So good to see you. Come on in. And Ellie. Yes. All right, we're going to get results. So Eric, when Jim and I bought our new home, we also bought a new washer dryer, but the issue is fitting them into our closet. Like, as you can see, this door sticks out further than this I one. See. You can close this one, but you can't close this. Exactly. The dryer doesn't fit, and it has to do with a hose. Okay, we got a couple options for you. Yeah. We're gonna see what we can do. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you. When you realize your arms aren't long enough and your body's not flexible enough, step one, disconnect everything and pull it out including yourself. Oh, that's so much easier to get to. When the installers put in Jamie's dryer, they use the hose, it's just way too long. Step two is get a dryer vent that fits your dryer space. So. They come in all kinds of different sizes. This one's four inches. This one's about six inches. The old one, even when it's compressed, has got to be at least a foot and a half. This is a house hack. This is a slim fit, adjustable dryer vent for when you really have a tight space. Step three is connect your new shorter hose. And don't forget about the clamps that it comes with. Whichever style you end up using, Put one on each end of the hose. Step four is put it all back, but carefully. Jeff is down there making sure that as we guide it into place, we do not pinch the hose. All right, gonna go get Jamie and Jim. Looking good, oh, looking good. And now, now you gotta close the doors because that's the ultimate test. <gasps> Boom, yeah. awesome. Never seen that before. <laughs> we got thank results? Yeah, that's thank you. great. Oh, yes, thank, thank you. you. I think we got results at home for the two of them. We're in DeBerry, I'm Eric Von Aken, getting results, News 6. Awesome stuff, once again, thank you, Eric. And if you'd like to watch that again, we have put the repair on New 6 Plus and clickorlando.com. Just look under the getting results at home tab. And Eric also posted step-by-step -step instructions and a list of those materials with some links. And if you'd like a project that Eric should tackle at your house, send us an email at getting results at home at wkmg.com. And next week, Eric might just show up at your door.